defends. Dayton steals the puck away. It's Luke Fleetcheck. He'll scoot to his right, trying to dump it in. And Mike Hoban gives us the first call of the game. 15-11 left to go in the first period. One to nothing, Dayton. Three on two. Going right through. Fleetcheck going to the left. Hoban's, Hoban was uh, wide open on his forehand. So um, nobody, nobody had him in front. And Hoban really to the right. And, had Wise, uh, he could put it wherever he wanted and uh, beat Wise over the shoulder. So good start for the Demons here, uh, almost five minutes in. one nothing D. Lysko. That's going to be uh, Looks like Tristan Lysko. And the, the linesman, or the lightsman rather, puts the red light on. It crosses, and one of the referees said it does. So now it's 2 to nothing Dayton. And I lo it looked as if the net got knocked off and he's going to award the goal because the net got knocked the net got knocked off but he evidently said that it went over before it got knocked off because the referee didn't even ask he just he made the signal he saw it he was going to call a penalty on number 89 of Columbus Ohio 11 11 left in the opening period marks with the pocket marks dumps it in Brian Marks picks up his first goal as a Dayton Demon, and it's now three to nothing, Dayton. Yeah, I think that was actually intended to be a pass, <laughs> but um, I think it, it, Wise was trying to make a play on it, and he, I think he made it worse. And uh, Marks was definitely the um, being fortunate there because I think he was just he was trying to set it up into the slot and try to put it up, up in in the middle. And Marks was very fortunate about how Weiss played that and it ended up going right through, uh, right in between his legs and um, Demons off and running again with a three nothing lead. Michael Franson. Franson tries, but it's Jason Hill picking the pockets. Back over to uh, Jason Hill. He's got an A on his jersey. He's an assistant captain for the Dayton Demons. Sanford now back to Hill near the uh, New York bench. Sanford dumps it in for a goal. Sanford with his seventh, four to nothing Dayton, and that's a power play goal for the Dayton Demons. That's the one thing I've always wanted to make sure that the Demons keep following up on is these, and what kind of bit them the last time we were on the air with Thousand Islands was not being able to capitalize on power plays. And that's something that I hope that they focus on, and that's a good start. You know, they didn't capitalize on the first one, but they get the second one tonight and they're able to put it back there. Sanford was able to move, they were able to move the box around and be able to, he goes right in between the rings. Yeah. Who's on the run, Bafoos to Ronsberg, Ronsberg dumps it in pass wise. Ronsberg with his second goal of this first period and the Dayton Demons lead five to nothing. That, that was absolutely great. Where does my Centala to start it? Mafus on the on the far left of the blue line was able to f find it, and then he, they go in three on two, and he finds Ronsberg. Ronsberg goes right in with him, and uh, Mafus with three assists tonight already, um, making things happen. Even you know he's not scoring, but he's definitely making things. Uh, you know what we five nothing lead. Puck dropped on the ice, recovered by the Dayton Demons, and with it now Stanford pass over to Mafus. Mafus to Ronsberg, and Ronsberg. That's a hat trick. Goal number three on the night for Seth Ronsberg. 14 on the season. And it's now six to nothing, Dayton Demons. I don't see any hats. <laughs> I might be wrong then. No, he's right. That, that, is a, that is a hat trick for Ronsberg. I just don't see any hats. I don't either. One of, one of the uh, fans, he's got a red jersey on. He's holding up his fluffy red hat. We talked about it several times as New York wins the faceoff. It's 6-2 Dayton, 40 seconds left on the 5-on-4, and yes, that is a shorthanded goal for Ballabrudge. Yeah, that, that's a little bit of concern with the, giving it's, that up. It's Felton, he loses the puck, and it'll be picked up by Sanford. Sanford looks at his options, pass it to his right. It's Jason Hill. He'll try to get it to the other side of the ice. 20 seconds left, Sanford now with it. It's Hill, Hill, and it's in for the assistant captain, Jason Hill. 
Nope, make that Luke Fleet check with the goal. And it's now seven to two, Dayton. Yep, running it was Matt. That's the or, second. Excuse me, excuse me, Hill, I'm sorry, I apologize for that. Hill was really running that. Uh, he was running a lot of that from the right side. And like you said, he found uh, um, uh, uh, Fleet Check. It was a fleet check. He found Fleet Check right there in front and uh, wide open. And um, he had no uh, opportunity. And there's a blue fin going yeah. past the glass doors. We hope that was Fran okay. Yeah, that was France. And he was cut. He He'll try to pass it to one of his teammates. It's off a of blue fin as we're down to the final two minutes of this second period. Hoban scoots it around. New York's trying to steal it away. Hoban will clean it up. Hoban moves towards his right on the near side, and it's going to be dumped in for Luke Fleecheck. Eight to two, Dayton the Fleecheck with his second goal on this second period. A lot of it's just moving the puck around and moving it, moving it, and moving it across and moving it across the slot. And basically, that's about the third time they've done it that way, which is basically going across the slot and having somebody right on their forehand, and being able to put it right past Wise, and flea check again. Um, with York, that's Nick Zanio. He gets the puck stolen away. Mafu's all alone, and Mafu stumps it in. Nine to two, Dayton. Mafus with under a minute to play in the second period. Gets his 22nd goal on the season. After four assists, he wanted to get his own goal and he was able to pick the pocket and he went in right alone. He was, just like I said, he's just kind of, st he's just there and, and he just was able to pick his pocket and he goes right down there. He goes right on the backhand. Um, and uncontested, and you don't leave somebody like Mafus to be able to do that. And, uh, I am Marks. Marks getting a lot of playing time tonight. Mm -hmm. We've seen him all season on a occasional basis. Yeah, it's this is the uh, most we've seen him on there tonight, and kind of filling in with uh, both, you know, with Ramage going up. And there's Hill with the puck, and it's stumped in by Braden Metz. Ten to two, Dayton. Metz with his first goal on the night. Glad to hear his name on the score sheet. I haven't actually seen him on the score sheet in a while. He'd been on a couple of assists, and mostly what I had seen out of him the last couple of games had been on the had been in the penalty box. And I'm glad to see Braden getting on the getting on the board and um, being being the being the straw that stirs the drink and being the veteran that he is and adding on to the score sheet. It was just great oppor great opportunity. Um, put it As it's Pride taking it around, he'll leave it behind. It's now for shot. Shot to Mafus. Mafus in and Pride bounces it off the poles. And that's a goal for Marcus Pride. 11 to 2, Dayton Demons. Mafus again on the assist. Moving the puck around. They worked it around. Mafus right in the middle, finds Pride. Pride actually got a second opportunity at it, and he missed it the first time. And it hit wise, and it actually hit the post, as you mentioned, and then he was able to slam it home. And, and as Dayton answers right back, as Hoban has it, it's now for Santala. He'll try a shot, and it bounces in for Peter Santala. 12 to two, Dayton. Santala with his first on the night, and Santala with goal number five in the Dayton Demons jersey, and it's a 10-goal lead for the Dayton Demons. That was a nice bouncer in the net. It took a bounce on the top of the net, bounced back to the near side of the net, and it bounced on the ice, kind of like a pinball machine. Absolutely, yeah. Santala, 